Hey and welcome to the Daily Man United News show. Let's begin with our daily news. Bruno Fernandes say they lacked belief in Manchester Derby. Bruno Fernandes has opened it up on what he believes Manchester United were missing in their Derby Day loss. Speaking to MUTV, the stand-in captain gave his thoughts on their 6-3 defeat against Manchester City. The attitude and the belief from the beginning was not the best and I think it was that that caused us many problems. We conceded early goals and after that we had to run back the result, Bruno said. Fernandez's assessment of the early game will likely do little to embolden fans with many leaving at half time, having seen their team go 4-0 down in the opening 35 minutes, but an improved second half at least separates this match from the humiliations that became all too common against United's rival last season. For Bruno, it was a matter of having to take the risks and leaving gaps elsewhere. The second half was much better. We kept control more of the game. Whenever we had the ball, we were more brave, but obviously we were down on the result, so we had to take some risks. Obviously, you take that risk, you score straight away, and then you concede more goals against a team like City. You can't give that much space to them, Bruno added. The Portugal star now looks ahead to a busy October schedule in which United play nine games in four weeks and Fernandez has called on his teammates to see the tiring run in and the quick turnaround as an opportunity to set things right. Eric Ten Hag reflects on embarrassing derby defeat to Manchester City. Eric Ten Hag shared his view on his side's embarrassing 6-3 loss to Manchester City. Manchester United were outclassed in every department by a dominant City side who look favourites to retain the Premier League title. A hat-trick for Phil Foden and Erling Haaland sealed the game for the home side who were just too good for United. United's second half performance was much better but it was too late. The damage had already been done. Ten Hag spoke to the media after the match. I am surprised why we didn't bring it on the pitch. I have seen a different team and spirit and we did not look convinced. I have to talk to my players and find it out why. I will show the team tomorrow. We could have been on the front foot in the first goal. We won the ball and could have created a chance and gave it away. That is unacceptable. It's quite simple. It's a lack of belief. When you don't believe on the pitch, you can't win games. That is unacceptable. We get undisciplined at following rules and you get hammered. That's happened today. At half time, we changed things and we changed our attitude. We saw a different Man United after half time and we scored goals. We created some more. On the ball, we were more brave came in the opponent's half and scored three goals. In this moment, I can't think about the positives. We let our fans down and ourselves down and we are hugely disappointed, said Ten Hag. Eric Ten Hag provides fresh injury update on Rafael Varane. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has provided an injury update on Rafael Varane following the club's 6-3 Premier League defeat to Manchester City. While the result was hugely disappointing, the club also suffered a setback with Varane being forced off with an injury before the half-time interval of the derby. Speaking after the game, Ten Hag said that Varane would have been substituted early even if the scoreline was much closer in the opening half. The Dutch tactician went on to acknowledge that the injury was obviously big enough to ensure that the Frenchman could not carry on playing for the remainder of the game. He told ManUnited.com, I don't think so that he would have carried on if the score would have been closer. But you get him off because when you are 4-0 to zero down, you don't want to take a risk to get a bigger injury. But I think it's that big, the injury, that he couldn't carry on. Varane has been a huge presence for United in central defence this term. He and Lisandro Martinez were in splendid form at the back before the international break arrived. It was anticipated that they would carry on the recent form, but City were simply too good. On top of this, Varane has shown picked up an apparent ankle injury, which is a bad news. The Frenchman has had an injury record throughout his playing career, but United will be hoping that the setback is not serious as 
They need plenty of depth for the hectic schedule. They are already missing Harry Maguire with a muscle problem, and this leaves them with just Martinez and Victor Lindelof as the regular central defensive choices under Ten Hag. Hopefully, Maguire and Varane return as soon as possible, else the manager may need to explore other options such as Axel Twanzibe and Tidane Mangi, who are completely out of favor. Eric Ten Hag has explained why Cristiano Ronaldo was not brought on against Manchester City. Cristiano Ronaldo remained an unused substitute in the Manchester Derby, in which Manchester City humbled Manchester United 6-3. Eric Ten Hag used all his five substitutions, and it was really surprising to see the 37-year-old left on the bench, despite the Red Devils being 4-0 down in the first half. And now, the Dutch manager has explained why he did not bring the forward on. In an interview published in the Manchester Evening News, the United boss said, I wouldn't bring him in because out of respect for Cristiano, for his big career. And the other thing was the advantage I could bring Anthony Martial. He needs the minutes, but I don't want to point it out like that. The 37-year-old is a legend at United and has scored five times against their neighbors in 15 appearances in all competitions. To bring him on when his side are already four goals down would just make the Portugal captain subject to notorious headlines. United never looked like they had it in them to come back and claim a point or a win against City. It seems even Ten Hag knew that somewhere in his heart and decided not to make Ronaldo a part of this misery. It was sad to see both Ronaldo and Sir Alex Ferguson watch their team get humiliated and they could do nothing about it. A time when the duo inflicted fear in their opponents were now just helpless to do anything. Ronaldo's future looked in serious doubt for much of this summer as he missed a large chunk of Man United's preseason, but Romano says it's too early to say what his agent Jorge Mendes will look to do for his client in January. There is no update yet on Cristiano Ronaldo, it's too early, Romano explained. In November or December, during the World Cup, it will be easier to understand Cristiano's position with Mendes. As of now, nothing has changed. To be honest, I'd always play Cristiano in top games like the Manchester Derby, but it's also fair to remember that he didn't do the full preseason, Romano said. United now prepare for their Europa League game next. They will travel to face Omonia this Thursday for their group stage game and both Martial and Ronaldo are in contention to start. Fans will hope for a win to have something to cheer about. Roy Keane slams Manchester United's performance. Roy Keane has slammed Manchester United's performance against Manchester City. Manchester United went into half time for goals down to their rivals. There is no doubt Manchester City are ahead of Manchester United at the moment and have been for some time. But in a Manchester derby, it's unacceptable for a club that size. Former player Keane was naturally gutted at the result. And he didn't hold back in his post-match assessment. They really should be embarrassed, said Keane, and it's difficult to disagree with him. Manchester City are one of the best sides ever to have played the game, but conceding so many goals in a derby game is incredibly disappointing. The former club captain has questioned the players, speaking on Sky Sports at half-time. The former midfielder believes the derby game was too big for United. Absolutely brilliant from Manchester City, but Man United, it's likely the game is too big for them. I almost can't believe what I am watching. We gave them some plaudits before the match, but as good as City have been, United's passing has been sloppy. There is gaps everywhere. City never looked like in trouble throughout the game. The Reds, on the other hand, struggled to find their teammates. The defense was too easy to beat and the players struggled to make decent passes throughout the game. This trashing should serve as a lesson for the players to fight for the badge more. There was a lack of confidence among the players and fans will hope that improves. Manchester United sent scouts to watch FC Porto goalkeeper Diogo Costa. Manchester United seemed to have ramped up their search for David De Gea's replacement. United scouts were seen watching FC Porto goalkeeper Diogo Costa 
in his side's 4-1 against Braga a few days back according to the Metro, Ten Hag has stuck with De Gea since his appointment, but the Spaniard is not suitable for how the Dutchman wants his team to play. De Gea is known to be uncomfortable with the ball at his feet and has often been criticized for his tendency to stay on his line, and so now, the Red Devils have started to look for a keeper that suits the manager's style of play. The Spanish international came under huge scrutiny at the start of the season. He was guilty of making costly errors that led to his side suffering back-to-back -back defeats and was also uncomfortable starting play from the back. Such uncapability led to Ten Hag changing his tactics which led to positive results. However, it seems that the manager could do with a new keeper in between the sticks and Costa fits that bill perfectly. Costa is a regular for Porto and also has been establishing himself in the Portugal national team. The 23-year-old is confident with the ball at his feet and can start play from the back as he has done for both club and country. The keeper will cost around £30 million and that could be a very good price for such a young and talented keeper. Costa has good experience under his belt and could prove to be another good Portuguese signing for the Manchester based club. De Gea, despite his silly mistakes, remains a key figure in Ten Hag's squad. It remains to be seen if United want to change their man between the post in January or next summer. Manchester United are set to battle it out for Goncalo Ramos. Manchester United are set to battle it out against several European clubs for the signature of Benfica striker Goncalo Ramos. This is according to Portuguese news outlet GN via the Sun. Eric Ten Hag is keen to bring in a number 9 at the club and the 21-year-old has been identified as a potential target to bring into the club once the January transfer window opens, but the Red Devils will face competition for his signature. Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern München and Newcastle United are all set to be interested in the Portuguese forward. The current options in the striker department in our club are simply not enough. A new number 9 is needed to help increase the depth and Ramos fits that bill. Ramos has been in good form this season. The 21-year-old has scored 8 goals in 12 appearances so far for the Portuguese club in all competitions, standing at 6 feet and 1 inches. The striker could become the perfect target man for United. Benfica will consider offers of around £35 million for the 21-year-old, whose contract expires in 2025. Ten Hag could use the Portuguese contingent at United to lure the young up-and-coming striker to Old Trafford. With a host of other clubs also interested, it will be wise for the Reds to get a head start on them. It remains to be seen if the Manchester club can beat their rivals to the 21-year-old signature. It's imperative that we are not left behind and are late in recruiting future talent. The 6-3 loss against Manchester City yesterday showed the difference between the two teams and what an informed striker can do. Ramos isn't talent, but he is young, talented player that can reach his potential under our Dutch manager. I will be uploading daily Man United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.